Alrighty, I'm at Photoville, which is a photography festival that happens once a year. And there's lots of uh, exhibitions, photo walks, speakers of photographers from all over. Um, and it's super exciting and happens in Brooklyn Bridge Park, which is also great atmosphere for it. So while I was here, I talked to some of the photographers behind the exhibits that they have. My name is Brian McCarty. I'm a photographer and the executive director of the War Toys nonprofit organization. Uh, we are a nonprofit arts and media group that basically amplifies the voices of children who have been exposed to war and tells their stories to the world. The inspiration for the work, it traces back to 1996. I was invited to do an exhibition in Croatia right after the War of Independence. And for it, I thought about conversations with my dad about Vietnam. And he would never talk about it and never felt comfortable explaining anything about it. Uh, but I found letters he wrote home to my mom first time he was shot at, these kinds of things. I reenacted that with the vintage 1960s era G.I. Joe, and over 14 years the ideas kept growing of uh, using off-the-shelf war toys to bridge the gap and tell these stories, and so that's where it started. I'm here all the way from New Zealand with my project, which is a long-term project about Maori family living in a, a ancestral lands in a deep mountainous area of New Zealand called Tio Rivera and uh, the family is um, have been living and raising over 20 children adopted by the traditional custom so here you see the generations of ch children um, taken photos taken during different years between 2014 and 2020 um, 22. Namaste everyone, I'm Bharati Sukul Kamraj from the Vishnu Mandir Hindu Temple and this is one of the photos that Jim took of us while our Hindu temple was doing a beach cleanup. We also did ancestral worship with a small hawan or a fire offering and also Ganga Puja which is offerings made to the water. For me, this is near and dear because this is a religious practice that I was born into. My dad was a Hindu priest who passed away in 2019 and we actually have a street which is Noble and Westchester Avenue in the Bronx co-named Pandit Vishnu Sukul Way. He is the first Guyanese Hindu priest to have a New York street named in his honor. So for me, it's very important to spread our culture and community and being born in Guyana and coming here to America and really calling the Bronx and New York City home is just amazing, not only for myself, but all those who came before me and who's going to come after me. This is a sense of pride to see that our culture is being shared with our diverse community and I'm just happy that it's being displayed. Hi, my name is Maria Bustra. This is my container and my exhibit. I'm really happy to be here in New York. Well, I met a few miners in the Netherlands and uh, I heard their stories. Uh, they were entangled in sexual um, violence networks. So I thought a lot of people don't know that but yeah. it also happens here in New York, it happens in every country and I wanted to find a way to tell this story. 